फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दीप्ति एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल लाइफ एडमिन थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एंड वेलकम टू टूडेज वीडियो टूडेज वीडियो इज स्लाइटली लॉन्गर देन माई टिपिकल टेन मिनट वीडियो बिकॉज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू एंड एंटायर वीक्स वर्स ऑफ मील प्लान दीज इंक्लूड्स लंचेस एंड डिनर्स आई एम नॉट एडिंग ब्रेकफास्ट और बॉयज स्कूल लंचेस बिकॉज दे आर टिपिकली द सेम आई जस्ट रोटेट इन बिटवीन द फ्यू सेवन एट मील्स फॉर देयर ब्रेकफास्ट एंड सेवन एट मील्स फॉर देयर लंचेस आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट शो यू द लंचेस that i prefer prepare and a few dinners here and there i prefer to cook first thing in the morning because milan works from home and he has fresh food to eat and just when i come back from work i just make fresh rotis for my kids to eat so my evening hours are spent doing activities that i love like exercising catching up on my tv series doing any other household work and finally doing a little bit of my youtube work as well with that said let's get started Here are a few common weekday breakfast and school lunches that I make for my boys. Overnight soaked oats, pancakes with maple syrup or nut butter spread, bagels with cream cheese, cereal and milk. For lunches it's tadka rice, idlis, different types of stuffed parathas, peanut butter nutella sandwiches, pasta with steamed veggies on the side. And lastly for me it's different flavored chia seeds pudding or protein berry shake or low carb peanut butter chocolate protein balls. With the basics out of the way, let's start with veggie prep for the week. Milin and boys did grocery. After a long time, we had padwal on our list. I am not a fan of this veggie, but I needed something different, so it got added to the list. It's very easy to prep padwal or snake coat. Chop off the tops and bottoms of this coat. Peel its outer layer, cut it in half, remove its inner seeds and stringy fibers, then cut into small uniform sized pieces. It has a high water content and as such needs to be prepared within a couple days of prepping it. then prepped a large head of cauliflower into cauliflower florets along with its inner soft coat if i were freezing cauliflower i would rinse it in lemon spiked water dry it thoroughly and then flash freeze but since i'm going to use it within the week i'm storing it unwashed right before preparing the sabzi i will soak it in lemon spiked cold water for 5 minutes drain out the water and then use the cauliflower florets Then it's the dreaded onions cutting two extra large onions and storing them in airtight container in the refrigerator with the meals that I've planned onions will get used up within 3 to 4 days well i am prepping these veggies here all my three boys including milin are picking on cilantro and methi leaves so let's take a look at what we have cauliflower florets methi or fenugreek leaves cilantro leaves chopped yellow onions romaine lettuce with tops and bottoms chopped padwal or snake coat some more yellow onions picked and rinsed dried green chilies cilantro stems and cabbage with that said let's move on to this week's meals for monday it's cabbage bhaji and chauri usar or lobia dal prepared tadka of mustard seeds cumin seeds in hot oil then added turmeric green chilies then added shredded cabbage mixed well and cooked uncovered for 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat mixed once again seasoned with salt a little bit of sugar and cooked for 3 to 4 minutes uncovered while bhaji was cooking i quickly prepared idlis for boys lunch started preparing idli before started preparing cabbage bhaji so that they would be at room temperature by the time i was ready to pack their lunch boxes also prepared roti just enough for milan didn't prepare amti or usar simply we thawed out black eye peas usar which is saudi usar in marathi milin will reheat it when he is ready to eat for monday dinner it's dosa for boys younger one likes dosa smeared with butter garlic chili powder while the older one likes plain dosa with butter no garlic or chili powder or no bhaji or no sambar for either one of them Milan had dinner meeting with his colleagues. For my meal I made grilled cheese sandwiches using my homemade keto friendly bread. On to Tuesday. It's potato rassa bhaji, amti and roti for lunch. Prepared standard tadka of mustard and cumin seeds, hing and turmeric. Then added onions, ginger garlic paste and sauteed. Then added crushed tomatoes and methi seeds and sauteed until well combined. Added peeled and chopped potatoes to this tadka. Added water, mixed well. Covered and cooked for about 2 to 3 minutes. During this time started preparing amti. Prepared the standard tadka once again in a smaller pot to which I added chopped onions and crushed tomatoes salted for a minute seasoned with salt and then added pressure cooked dal cube I forgot to thaw it out the night before and instead of defrosting in microwave I placed it inside the tadka turned the heat to low and covered and let it defrost checked back on rassa bhaji it was simmering well but potatoes needed some more cooking so cooked covered for few more minutes uncovered and added jaggery salt and goda masala mixed well and covered and cooked for a few more minutes 
got back to Amti. It looked like cooked tur dal cube had sufficiently defrosted by residual heat. Turned heat back on to medium, added water and mixed in dal with water, added jaggery, salt and mixed well and kept it for simmering. Checked back on rasa bhaji and potatoes had almost cooked. Turned off heat, garnished with chopped cilantro, mixed thoroughly, covered and let the residual heat finish off cooking. Back to Amti. Turned off heat, added chopped cilantro and mixed well. Bhaji and Amti are ready. Didn't make rotis. I have pre-made frozen and rotis which Milan will prepare when he is ready to eat. Tuesday dinner was quick and simple. Plant-based burgers. Besides Beyond Burgers, now we have another plant-based burger, the Impossible Burger. Buy it in bulk from Costco and it lasts for good four meals for the four of us. Without defrosting, cook each burger patty for about two to three minutes on each side. Add cheese and any of your favorite toppings and serve it along with burger buns. I did serve steamed broccoli on the side along with this burger but unfortunately I didn't record it. Once again Melinda was out for work dinner and I ate the same burger patty with chopped onions, tomatoes, cheese and replaced bread bun with lettuce. So it was like a burger wrapped in lettuce. Moving on to Wednesday. It's padwal bhaji with chana dal, amti from yesterday, rice and roti. All sabzi start with preparing the basic tarka in hot oil. In goes mustard seeds and cumin seeds. Once they start Started cracking turned heat to low to avoid burning powdered spices like hing, turmeric and red chilli powder that got added later. Mixed well, added overnight soaked chana dal, turned up the heat to medium and mixed well, continuously sauteed for a couple of minutes, covered and cooked on medium for 2-3 to three minutes, uncovered and gave everything a good stir. Dal was about 50% cooked at this stage. Covered and cooked on medium for 2-3 to three minutes, uncovered and gave everything a good stir, added in prepped padwal and mixed well with dal tadka masala, seasoned with salt, mixed once more, covered and cooked on medium to medium low for good 4 to 5 minutes. Uncovered, mixed well, added in chopped cilantro and checked for doneness. It was almost done. Turned off heat, covered and moved aside to let the residual heat finish off cooking. Quickly prepared chapatis, just enough for melon. Last thing was preparing rice, but first transferred sabzi to a container. There was quite some oil remaining in the pan, so instead of wasting it, prepared rice in it and I was done. Melin was going to reheat leftover amti from yesterday. Wednesday dinner is once again quick and simple affair. Milind was home for dinner, so we all ate together. I wanted to finish off the last of the idli dosa batter. So for Milind, I made onions, green peas, uttapam, and for boys, I made dosas, just like the way each one of them likes. Plain buttered dosa for older one and buttered dosa with garlic red chilli masala for younger one. I ate keto dosa that I made from cream cheese, mozzarella cheese and almond flour mixture. On to Thursday. It's sabudana khichdi for Milin and he prefers to eat it for breakfast since it tastes good when it's freshly made and hot. Thursdays are my fasting days so I took coffee and a handful of mixed nuts to school with me. Thursday dinner was mixed dal khichdi. Here I have a mixture of rice and dal. Half a cup of rice and one fourth cup each of moong and masoor dal. Added two cups of water and let it soak for 10 to 15 minutes. Prepared standard tarka of mustard and cumin seeds. Turned heat to low and added turmeric and curry leaves. When sputtering subsided, added drained dal rice mixture to the tarka, all the while keeping heat low. Mixed soaked dal rice with tarka. On the side, I had about 1.5 cups of water heating in electric kettle. Once well mixed, added 1.5 cups of boiling water, goda masala, salt per taste and mixed well. Turned off heat and placed this pot in pressure cooker filled with hot water. At the last minute, added chopped cilantro and mixed once more. Closed cooker, added whistle and pressure cooked on medium heat for just two whistles. Opened cooker when pressure released naturally and removed khichdi pot. This was one of the best khichdis that I made in a very long time. It reminded me of my eyes khichdi. A lot of people put in bunch of vegetables in their khichdi but my eye never puts it so I never put them either. It's best to eat khichdi when it's really hot with curry, lots of ghee and crushed papad or some type of safe. This is typically what I eat when I have to break fast. I don't want to have any low carb food, just comforting khichdi or plain varan bhat with two. All of us ate the same meal. Moving on to Friday. No cooking or packing lunches today. Milin had lunch meeting and boys were going to eat pizza at school. I took me some simple salad for school lunch and that was that. Evening we had dinner get together with our friends. Dinner was finger licking delicious. For appetizer she had steamed vegetable momos. I wish I could have recorded her when she made them. They looked and tasted even better than what you would get at restaurants. To go along with these momos was the delicious momo chutney. Then there was cold masala potato appetizer. These potatoes were perfectly 
perfectly cooked. Then there was loads of crispy onion cabbage pakoras and green chutney to go along with them. I refuse to eat salad for I eat them for my lunch every single day. Today I did keep my low carb eating lifestyle at bay. Didn't think that anything could get better when the dinner was laid out. Piping hot basmati rice, freshly made rotis. Each one of us took turns to make or roast rotis right then and there. Then there was this delicious tadka dal, cauliflower manchurian. Oh my god, this manchurian was delicious, so good. I liked it even more than my favorite paneer. Then this sorted garlic spinach and watercress saag bhaji, yummy. Papad and tangy chutney to go along and lastly dessert, gajar halwa. And I'm the one who brought it. Gajar halwa is something that gets ready very quickly, so it's my go-to dessert when I have less time. This is assuming you have a food processor for shredding carrots, only then it gets done quickly. Well, my friend sent us home with tons of food and I didn't have to cook anything the entire Saturday. All I did was heat up frozen chapatis and served it with paneer and saag for one of the meals and then we had momos with soy sauce along with gobi manchurian for the other meal. I did have to cook on Sunday. For lunch, I made chapati, rice, amdi and alu methi. Bhaji. More halu and less methi. Sabzi turned out very good. Boys actually ate methi and not just picked on the alu. This sabzi deserves a video of its own and I will share this recipe in details in an upcoming video. Dinner was a simple affair of ordering pizza. Didn't want to do another round of cooking, even something as simple as grilled cheese sandwich. Instead, I caught up on three loads of laundry, did some basic house cleaning, planned menu for the upcoming week and did some veggie and dal prep. And before I sign off, here is a quick glimpse of my school lunches. I'm working on a separate video where I will share these simple and easy salads that you can make and pack the night before and take with you to your work. I hope you liked today's video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such weekly meal planning and prepping videos. Much love to you all. See you all in the next one.